Hey, so it's Wayne Carini. I'm here with my 1934 MG Airline Coupe. If you're a big fan of old school cars, you must be familiar with Wayne Carini. He's practically a legend in the realm of restoring classic rides, having been at it for what seems like forever. Known worldwide for his skills, you don't want to miss watching this video until the end, where we delve deep into Wayne Carini's story and uncover what's been going on with him. Wayne Carini was born in Portland, Connecticut, on October 13, 1951, into a family deeply immersed in the world of cars. His upbringing revolved around automobiles, with his dad, Bob Carini, being a former racer, and his grandpa, Bruno, a seasoned mechanic. It's no surprise that Wayne developed an early affinity for classic cars. Although Wayne Carini initially studied accounting, his passion for cars ultimately led him to pursue a career in the automotive industry. He began his journey in the car business as a mechanic at his father's shop, gradually transitioning to various roles in different car dealerships, where he honed his skills in sales and marketing. In 1974, he took the leap and established F40 Motorsport, marking the beginning of his entrepreneurial ventures. Wayne Carini's fame soared with his involvement in the hit TV show Chasing Classic Cars, which premiered in 2008. However, the show came to an end in 2021 due to a myriad of factors, including financial challenges, declining ratings, and shifts in the classic car market. Additionally, Wayne faced health issues and the untimely passing of the show's creator and executive producer, Jim Estrosi, in 2017 further complicated matters. Despite the setbacks, Wayne Carini remains a prominent figure in the classic car scene. His dealership and restoration shop, F40 Motorsports, continue to thrive, renowned for his expertise in restoring various classic car models, from Ferraris to Lamborghinis, Wayne's journey has been one of continuous learning and exploration. Wayne had some legal drama back in 2017. One of his clients sued him for not delivering on a restoration project as promised. The client gave him a 1964 Chevrolet B Air to restore for $125,000, but Carini didn't finish it on time or within budget. To make matters worse, he returned the car in a damaged and unfinished state. The lawsuit was settled out of court in 2018, but we have no information about how much Carini had to pay. We don't know what happened with that investigation, but Carini didn't get charged with any crimes. Still, his reputation in the classic car world took a hit. Some folks think he's shady, while others say he's just a businessman who's made some mistakes. It's worth noting that Carini has never been convicted of anything. Wayne Carini is still in the classic car world, but no longer doing the chasing classic cars show. He's still running his businesses, F Sporty Motorsports, Continental Auto Limited, and Carini Carrier. He's always getting invited to be a judge or grand marshal at cool car events. Carini is really into classic cars and wants to ensure they are not forgotten. He's part of many classic car groups and talks and writes about the hobby a lot. In his personal life, Carini is a husband and dad to two daughters. He loves hanging out with his family and friends and is a pilot. All in all, Wayne Carini is one busy guy. He's passionate about cars and ensures the classic car hobby lives on for future generations. And there you have it, folks, a look into the captivating life of Wayne Carini. Wayne Carini's life is a testament to his unwavering dedication to classic cars. If you've enjoyed this glimpse into his captivating journey, don't forget to show your support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. And remember to hit that bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.